So, there is an open merge request that ports tweaks on GTK4, but that will probably arrive on GNOME 46. Besides, the patches aren't very adwet town 1.4 friendly yet, mostly meaning that the cute sidebar is missing. Visuals aside though, the issue that needs to be examined is whether tweaks is still compatible with GNOME 45. Hmm, let's see the current options maybe? So first item is the font styles, that perhaps isn't a common option on mobile, but on desktop and especially for computer fans, I think it remains a nice to have preference. Antialyzing isn't that important I guess, and defaults should work, and in any case if we can't render fonts, what are we even doing here? Scaling factor is included on official options, but without a slider, but still good enough. Icons is something people are even changing on Android, so I guess it's more than legit on desktop. Should be included on settings app. Nope. Should be existed somewhere else? Definitely, yes. The shell theme we can now change it from the extension, so it's not needed here, but the fact we can't adjust the background on settings is sad to say the least. I mean we should have been able to apply filters directly from background screen, but instead, we should be thankful we can at least change the image. Sound? I think GNOME doesn't even have a sound theme, but it could be possibly useful if you use Xobuntu. Change the policy of middle click or touchpad. I never touched those, no idea how useful they actually are. Another thing I almost never change anywhere than games is the input settings and shortcuts, cause I know I'll get confused sooner or later. However, this option is still valuable, and maybe there should be a specific tool just for this purpose. And again, options to change core system defaults, and again, I'm not really a fan. Options to change the alignment of window controls, or to enable minimization. Things of the past, won't really work by GNOME design. Nonetheless, the Windows Focus strategy, if it works well, I suppose it could have been an option in GNOME settings and accessibility. And lastly, the startup applications, that is absolutely essential to be included in the GNOME settings, along with a run-in background option. Unless I'm very wrong, I think there were some plans to support this. To come into a conclusion, Tweaks is still relevant, but not as much as before, since GNOME has integrated some of its features into the settings app, and some other stuff have been improved and do not require modification. Most importantly though, Tweak's development is kinda dead for the past 3-4 to four years, so no updates, no game.